speak. When I think about Terry, I think about Oklahoma, and I have relatives from Oklahoma. For, so for me, that means down-home spirit, real, personable. He wanted to make the organization a family. Well, you never know what's going to happen when you get called up to the publisher's office after you've published some kind of investigation that's created a ruckus. Uh, a couple times I had to go up and talk to Terry after the firefighters got upset when we wrote about their overtime and when the teachers got upset when we wrote about their salaries and printed them in the paper. Terry always said the right things, and I want to thank him for that. He'd shake off the criticism, and he'd say, get back down there and keep doing the good work. The, uh, the folks in operations, and myself included, uh, feel that Terry, more than anybody before him, has shown us a great deal of respect and uh, support over the years. And, uh, we just want to say thank you for that. What I remember most about Terry is that hideous red wool sweater that he wore at the holiday party last year. I mean, it was an ugliest sweater competition, but he took it to another level. Always have some good words to live by. It can be done. Now, someone said it can be done by someone else, but I think it's best to interpret this as it can be done. And number one in any organization, Terry, you need a darn good t-shirt. He was driven. He drove us to be engaged and to all be focused and aligned around the right things to really push our business forward, and I'll miss that. He came to us last year and said, I want to see Sunday home delivery up year over year by September. That's a huge goal, but Terry set the tone, and he motivated us. He drove us toward that goal, and I'm pleased to say that by the second week of September, we were up year over year, so it's that inspirational leadership that Terry provided that just really got us where we needed to be. I went to my first sales meeting with him and he showed some of that raw emotion with all the salespeople. And I remember how I was feeling like, wow, everybody is just enthralled with what he's saying right now. And I found that through the years in working with Terry that he really was able to inspire people because they knew how passionate he was about his work. Terry has this amazing ability to bring people together towards a common goal or for a common cause, and Terry, you really helped us do that in the magazine group, bringing um, different teams here in the building together to help us, and I really appreciate that. We'll miss you. When I heard uh, Terry resign, there was actually a rumor um, going around of uh, why he resigned was the fact that he was unable to fix my golf swing, and he got so frustrated that uh, he, uh, he just finally gave up on me. Um, but what I will remember is... Uh, Overall, is Terry's passion for this industry and what we do every day, and how important it is to the community that we run a successful newspaper and that we have great content and great advertising. And um, Terry, we wish you the best, and uh, you will be missed. What I'll miss most about Terry Horn is honoring him at the annual holiday party. In three years here, Terry faced down the perfect storm and canceled my register subscription. He inspired us to give 110% while paying us 95%. He let us sell subscriptions, which taught us valuable lessons, mostly about rejection. This year, he promises to give me his house when he moves back to Arizona. Thanks for supporting news, Terry. Well, we